So welcome to Whispering Heights, a place where we're always looking for the whispers of God. We're listening and looking and desiring to hear what He has to say for us. Well, it's fall, as you can see in the window behind me, and uh, I have been all summer long working on a deck, and uh, not just a deck, but also um, a, a patio, <laughs> and it has been quite, quite a job to deal with. Started in the spring, still working on it now. I'm standing on the patio right now, on the deck, I should say, right now. It's almost done. It's been very difficult. Uh, I said just a few weeks ago on a video, previous video to this one about how you know whether you have brain damage as I do or whatever your situation is is in life you have to decide inside your mind inside your heart that you're not going to let that stop you you're going to move forward well a lot of things are out there to stop you this has been a project that has taken some work because there's been a lot of things to stop me along the way. There's even been some times that have just become very um, frustrated with myself, frustrated with the situation, um, having times when it's hard to believe in myself that I can accomplish this. And yet I knew I could because physically I, I'm in very good shape uh, for somebody that's been through what I've been through, uh, a traumatic brain injury, almost dying, and, uh, and yet physically I'm in very good shape. Uh, my brain is not in the best shape that it's ever been in life. <laughs> but you have to keep moving along. I knew I could do this. I knew it was gonna be difficult. And I'm going to show you some pictures in just a few minutes of where we're at in this project. I just want to encourage you that wherever you're at in life, that you can move forward. You can get done the things you want to do. But more, more um, exactly, you can get done the things that God calls you to do. Now, as I said, I knew I could get this project done. I knew it was going to be hard, but there's a greater project, another char project that I've had for a long time that I want to get going. I had this idea when I was in the hospital that God was bringing me to a new season in life to be able to go back to ministry. Now, I know that I'm not going to be a pastor in a church again. But I wanted to be somebody, and I still do, I want to be somebody who can go to numerous churches and talk to them, to the churches, to the people, give, give them sermons, <laughs> uh, but give uh, messages concerning what, what I've been through and, and how God can bless you. Even uh, people that, uh, you know, have, right now I'm just having a hard time getting the words out of my, my mind, you know, my, my, my mind. <laughs> from my mind to you and what I've wanted to do is is this I found it very difficult to figure out how to make this all come together uh, I wanted to uh, be moving forward in uh, the fall that hasn't happened but it hasn't stopped me and I think sometimes that Satan always is bringing some things into our mind to stop us in our tracks. And I think that God allows that because for one thing, God wants us to find out inside our mind. He already knows, but he wants us to find out inside our own mind, is this something I really want to do? Is this something that I'm going to do, you know, no matter what the cost, I'm going to make this happen with the help of God. <laughs> Is this something God really wants in my life and it's something that I want? It can happen. But like I said, Satan's always stopping you. 
And God gives you ideas like he did to me two years ago when he said, this is the season that begins when you're going to be going back to churches, when you're going to be preaching again, when you're going to be talking specifically about how I, I blessed you during this time uh, of difficulty and how God loves people. He really does. And how he can bless you through uh, so many more things I could talk about with that with that those messages are all about and you can get some of them here on YouTube <laughs> certainly by just listening to other messages I've given but just because God says this is the season and just because you're at it doesn't mean it's the season doesn't mean it's the time necessary you know God told <laughs> you look at someone like uh, Moses <laughs> Moses was uh, 60, uh, no, he was, he was uh, uh, <laughs> for 80 years old before his ministry began. For 80 years he had to wait until it all came together. And God says that. God is a master at saying, hey, this is what you're going to do, now wait. <laughs> and I'll put it in order to you in the right time, in the right place. And you have to be faithful, and you have to be trustworthy, and you have to believe that in God. You have to believe. You have to believe that what you've heard in your heart from God is what it really is. So there are always whispers that come into our heart that are from God, and we have to trust in them and believe in them, and know that God will bring it to be in the right time, in the right place. So without any further ado, let me take you around a little bit and show you some of the work that I have been doing since spring. It's now fall and we're almost done. I'm standing at the deck that I've been talking about that I've been building and uh, I'm gonna walk down the little hill that I made here, the little place. I'll take this around so that you can see the deck that has come to be and uh, let me just walk around here as you can see there's a it goes up the ground goes up and so I've had to build this place and then put in uh, I put in the, uh, the desk uh, to, to walk up and then the deck is below above that I have not completed this because I still have to put on the, the railings all around it which I hope to get done this week but uh, you can see this has been a massive massive project that has caused me to have to reconfigure re it a couple of times that's not the right word but if you can see under here I had to redo all of that when uh, the for to make sure that it all worked out for the building department and that took a lot of work but it's not just here, but also now we move over here to this section, which we worked on last, started working on last, uh, last spring to put in this, this part here with, uh, even got a nice little place to, to have a, uh, fire, fire. It's a fire pit. My wife's back there, she's helping me with the words because I couldn't remember. And you can see, that took most of the spring and a good part of the summer to do that whole thing. And of course, once again, the deck that's still being made but is almost done. And uh, neighbors yelling at a dog. <laughs> so no matter what you do, you can make it happen. Because God is with you because he can make it happen. And when you listen to the whispers of God, don't expect magic to take place. Expect it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be hard work. Expect that God is gonna bring you through it and make it happen. He really will. But you have to want it more than anything else. So we got this deck done. Now on to more preaching, more going to churches as we've been talking about. This has been a part here that's been 
really hard to figure out how to make this all work. <sighs> Which is what I've been in my heart since my accident. God's going to bring that to the place, to the time. Hey, you know, maybe you're listening to this and you'd love to have somebody come to your church and talk about some of the issues that I've talked about in relation to just having faith in God, even in the most difficult of times. As I've said, look at some more of the YouTube videos. You'll see more of what I'm about. And uh, give, us a, give us a call. We're also on YouTube and Facebook. So I hope this is helpful to you. You have a great day. And be sure to enjoy both of these videos. It'll help you to watch us put this deck together and hear more in your heart of the whispers of God. Take care.